In this video, I'm going to ask, is it okay to eat animal protein every single day? And the answer to that is yes. There's no reason not to eat animal protein. By that, I mean red meat, white meat, fish, eggs, every single day, except for two reasons. Number one, if you're doing some kind of 24 hour fast, so you're actually fasting and you want to cut out all foods that day. And two, there's a particular type of animal protein that you don't like. For example, you don't like beef, uh, you don't like uh, lamb, you don't like chicken, you don't like a certain type of fish you don't like eggs, you only want foods that you actually enjoy. But these foods are the best foods that you can include in your diet to help you get leaner and fitter and for optimal health and nutrition. Uh, and if you actually, and to answer, to, to explain why uh, eating animal protein every single day is optimal and is healthy, you have to go back to what the purpose of nutrition is in the first place. And if you take away enjoyment, if you take away taste, if you take away sustainability of diet, the essential reasons you're, you're eating food is that your body is unable to create certain macro and micronutrients that it needs to sustain itself for growth and repair and carry out its normal functions. So your body needs a daily intake of essential amino acids. So essential means amino acids, which are the building blocks of protein that your body is unable to create itself or create in sufficient quantity. The same goes for fatty acids and the same goes for certain micro, several micronutrients, vitamins and minerals. Your body can create some of them, it can create some of them in small quantities, others it has to absorb from what you eat. So therefore, if you only think about the, that basic nutritional need, you're going to eat the foods that provide you with the the, the best macro, uh, availability of macro and micronutrients, and that is animal protein. So for example, red meat and chicken has more protein than any other plant food. And not only does it have more protein, it has it in its most bioavailable format. So your body doesn't have to work hard to digest it. It also has all the amino acids that you need. So there are about 11 amino acids that your body needs from, from external source, the rest it can create. And if, you're, if protein contains all of these, then it is complete protein. There is no plant protein that is complete uh, protein that has all the, those essential amino acids easily available in the right quantities that's easily digestible. And in addition to the, to the um, protein, you also have the uh, healthy fats, which are present in things like red meat and eggs and fish. And also you have the micronutrients. So for example, vitamin D in oily fish is not available in other uh, and other plant foods as easily available as easily absorbable in, as in, in fish. Red meat has the, the B12, folate and iron in a format that is easily absorbable that your body can absorb so your body doesn't have to work hard. So the next question you have to ask yourself is why would you not eat those foods every single day even in small quantities you don't have to eat massive amounts you can actually gain most of your macro and micronutrients from small amounts um, of red meat and oily fish um, even more from actually small amounts of organ meats like liver and kidney, um, if you like those um, foods. But they are the, actually the, the most nutrient-dense foods you can eat, the organ meats. Um, why would you not want to eat them every day? And the only reason you wouldn't is that they cause you harm. And the reality is the scientific studies, the epidemiological studies have not proven that these are harmful to, to humans. We've been eating them for tens of thousands of years and they don't contribute to the increase in heart disease, obesity, diabetes, and cancer that we've seen in the last century. Those are linked to uh, possibly the way in which we farm them, but more, re but more likely to do with the increase in processed foods, processed oils that never existed in the human diet. That's how you have to think about eating animal protein. And including it every single day um, is optimal for your health, optimal for your metabolism, reduces, helps reduce inflammation, gets you lean, gets you strong, gets you it. And unfortunately, we constantly see negative press, negative media about animal protein, particularly red meat. Um, and we see think campaigns like Meatless Monday, Veganuary. These are portrayed as being healthier. Uh, they're not. That, that what you need to do to, to optimize your health is to include animal protein, just include it at the right level, uh, include the right type, and not overeat and not snack, uh, and obviously concentrate on other aspects of your health um, as well. So let me know what you think. Uh, I still maintain that eating animal protein every day is acceptable and optimal. If you disagree with me, tell me why.